Okay, section 12.2, the immune system. The study of the immune system is called immunology. The medical specialists involved in the study and research of immune system and in treating disorders of the immune system is called an immunologist. The immune system is not an organ system, but a group of specialized cells in different parts of the body that recognize foreign substances and neutralize them. It is the third line of defense listed at the beginning of this chapter. When the immune system is functioning correctly, it protects the body against bacteria, viruses, cancer cells, and foreign substances. When the immune body, when the immune system is weak, it allows pathogens, including the virus that can cause, that cause common colds and flu and cancer cells, to successfully invade the body. T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes protect the body through adaptive immunity. Receptors on the surface of T cells and B cells recognize specific non-self foreign antigens. Antigens are molecules that trigger an immune response. Each, each antigen has a unique structure that is recognized by the immune system. Heptins are small foreign molecules that attach themselves to host molecules to form large, unique complexes that the immune system can recognize as foreign. Haptins are found in cosmetics, detergents, industrial chemicals, poison ivy, and animal dander. Three characteristics distinguish immunity from the first two lines of defense. Uh, specificity. Okay, first is specificity. The immune response is directed against a particular pathogen. Immunity to one pathogen does not confer immunity to others. Specificity has one disadvantage. If a virus or a bacterium changes a component of its genetic code, it will lead to a change in the structure and or physiology of the microorganism, which then is no longer recognized by the immune system. This mutation occurs, for example, in bacteria in response to antibi antibiotics and in HIV's response to an anti-HIV drug's development of resistance. Memory. Okay, second characteristic to distinguish immunity from its first two lines of defense is memory. When exposed to the same identical pathogen occurs again, the immune system recognizes the pathogen and has its responses ready to act quickly. Third is discrimination. The immune system learns to recognize agents or antigens that represent self and agents that are non-self, foreign. Most of this recognition is developed prior to birth. A variety of disorders occur when this discrimination breaks down. They are known as autoimmune disorders. So antigen, anti against antigen, produce and create. A substance capable of triggering an immune response. Autoimmune, immune reaction direct, directed against a person's own tissue. Discrimination. A uh, crimen is distinguished just away from a pyration process. Ability to distinguish between different things. Hapten, Greek to fasten or bind. Small molecule that has to bind to a larger molecule to form an antigen. Mutate is a verb, Latin to change. To make a change in the chemistry of a gene. Mutation, change in the chemistry of a gene. Resistant. Resistance, ability of an organism to withstand the effects of an antagonistic agent. Resistant, adjective, ability to resist. Specific, adjective, adjective, relating to a particular entity. And specificity, state of having a fixed relation to a particular entity. Immunity, immunity is classified biologically in two types through both mechanisms often respond to the same antigen through both mechanisms often respond to the same antigen. first cellular or cell mediated immunity it is a direct form of, de of defense based on the actions of lymphocytes and to attack foreign and disease cells and destroy them the many different types of T cells B cells and macrophages described in the previous lesson of this chapter are involved in this style of attack Humoral antibody-mediated immunity. 
It is, is an indirect form of attack that employs antibodies produced by plasma cells, which have been developed from B cells. The antibodies bind to an antigen and thus tag them for destruction. These antibodies are called immunoglobulins or globulins, IGs, defensive gamma globulins in the blood plasma and body secretions. There are five classes of antibodies, also known as immunoglobulins. IgG makes up about 80% of the antibodies. It is found in plasma and tissue fluids. It crosses the placenta to give the fetus some immunity. IgA makes up about 13% of the antibodies. It is found in exocrine secretions such as breast milk, tear, saliva, nasal secretions, intestinal juices, bile, and urine. IgM makes up about 6% of antibodies. It develops in response to antigens in food or bacteria. IgD is found on the surface of B cells and acts as a receptor for antigens. IgE is found in the exocrine secretions along with IgA and also in the serum. The immune system is thought to be able to produce some 2 million different antibodies. Antibodies do not actively destroy an antigen. They render it harmless and mark it for destruction by phagocytes. Once released by plasma cells, the antibodies function in several ways to make antigens harmless, including neutralization, an antibody binds to the antigen and masks it. Agglutination. An antibody binds two or more bacteria and prevent them from spreading through the tissues. Precipitation. Antibodies create an antigen antibody complex that is too heavy to stay in solution. The complex precip precipitates or drops out of solution and can be ingested and destroyed by phagocytes. Complement fixation. The complement system is a group of 20 or more proteins continually present in blood plasma. IgG and IgM bind to foreign cells, initiating the binding of complement to the cell and leading it to its destruction. Complement fixation is a major defense mechanism against bacteria and mismatched blood, uh, blood cells. Based on the prediction or acquisition of antibodies, four classes of immunity can be described. First is natural active immunity, the process of your own antibodies as a result of normal maturation, pregnancy, or an infection. Artificial active immunity, the production of your own antibodies as a result of vaccination or immunization. A vaccine consists of either killed or attenuated weakened pathogens or antigens. Natural passive immunity, a temporary immunity that results from acquiring antibodies from another individual. This occurs for fetus through the placenta, IgG, or for the infant through breast milk, IgA. Artificial passive immunity, a temporary immunity that results from the injection of an immune serum from another individual or an animal. Immune serum is used to treat snake bite, tetanus, and rabies. Definition of terms. Immunity is protection from an infectious disease. If you are, an immune, if you are immune to a disease, you can be exposed to it without becoming infected. A vaccine is a product that stimulates a person's immune system to produce immunity to a specific disease, protecting that person from that disease. Vac vaccines are administered through needle injections, by mouth, or by nasal spray. Vaccination is the act of introducing a vaccine into the body to produce immunity to a specific disease. Immunization is a process by which a person becomes protected against a disease through vaccination. This term is often used interchangeably with vaccination or inoculation. These definitions are provided by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Protection. Agglutination, process by which cells or other particles adhere to each other to form clumps. Agglutinate is a verb for stick together to form clumps. Attenuate, weaken the ability of an organism to produce disease. And attenuated is an adjective, meaning weakened. Complement, Latin for that which completes. 
a group of proteins in serum that finish off the work of antibodies to destroy bacteria and other cells. Humoral immunity, defense mechanism arising from antibodies in the blood. Immune serum, immune means Latin protected from and serum Latin for way. Serum taken from another human or animal that has antibodies to a disease. Vaccine, Latin relating to a cow. Preparation to generate active immunity. Vaccinate, to administer a vaccine. Vaccination, administration of a vaccine.